12. You've played scenes like this many times before. It's time to change sides. Take on the role of an evil dungeon. Give those heroes hell. Peggy 12. You've played scenes like this many times before. It's time to change sides. Take on the role of an evil dungeon. Give those heroes hell. Peggy 12. You've played scenes like this many times before. It's time to change sides. Take on the role of an evil dungeon. Give those heroes hell. Lure 
Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the Invisible Let's Plays on Invisible Gaming Channel, starting at your house from the dark side of the moon. My name is Invisible, your host, and today we will be playing, continuing on the Let's Play project of Dungeons, the first game out of three made by Reinforce and published by Calypso Media. Before we start, I'd like to give my usual prayer and wishing as per usual. Peace be upon all of my viewers online and offline. Peace be upon all of my fans and followers, subscribers, new and returning. And specifically, peace be upon all of the Discord server of YouTube Friends United and the Beast of the Delta Friends United family specifically the stack gaming bs09 gaming lux bar marcos nitro crash mark ic rogation carodan cryfield zptv123 matthew alvin21 slagada cool 85 r4l marcel pan gaming and public suppress I hope with all my heart that I'll be able to rise up to your expectations and your ideals and uh, play as professionally as possible. Without any further ado, let's start the game. Where we left it last time. This is Dungeons. Once again, presented to you by your uh, host, Invisible from Invisible Gaming Git channel, sucking at your house from the dark side of the moon. Today, um, what are we going to do? Um, if I can somehow manage to increase the size of this, it will be really good. So previously, what happened? We started the game playing as uh, Mr. Sidekick, the literal sidekick of the Underworld's Prince. We were taken down the by. Has managed to escape you by, um, well, escaping, Master. Thank you for the information, Mr. Sidekick. <laughs> The Prince of the Underworld somehow was overtaken by the mistress he had, Calypso, with a C. This mistress um, wishes to overtake control over the, of the dungeons and the Underworld. And with that, she decided she would like to... Calypso, the succubus, decided uh, out of the nowhere that she'd rather destroy her uh, lover's uh, peaceful life, being the prince of the underworld and uh, all and whatnot. Thus, she opened up the gates for all the heroes across the land for them to come over and uh, destroy him. Telling him that his time is done and that she is through. Some of the Sung skeletons escaped again, Master. Should you stray too far from your dungeon heart, you can use the teleport to dungeon heart spell. Bell. Open your spell book and drag it into your quick bar, and you can use it from there. <laughs> so, um, the girlfriend of the master of the dungeon, master of the underworld, decided that it's about time for her to take over everything he ever had and everything he ever worked so hard for. And with that, 
she simply opened up the gates for all the heroes across the world to enter and flood the entire place. Oh no, this is bad. Your dungeon heart is in danger, master. If it's destroyed, then you will lose all of your power in this area. Pay attention to the dungeon heart, master, 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 master. That would be the end of us. Okay. I think it is for real that my current ends are completely useless. Is he really going to come after me this far? Looks like it. I'm about to fit it. Okay. Gram. So what did we do exactly last time? <laughs> we began the game, find out, found out that uh, Dungeon Master indeed is completely useless. So the girlfriend took over the entire... Um, so, so so first unprecedented comfort for two customers to dance so I refuse to pack the customers and in character. Okay, give me this one. Like this. And this one. what? Like this. Oh. Master, you've built a new prison. Excellent! Now your dungeon has room for even more customers. <laughs> That's the idea. What kind of cells uh, is this? Come on, cell. Uh, why? Regardless. Okay, so. What are we supposed to do in this game exactly? Dungeons 1 by Realm Forge may create marine forms, Realm Forge, and published by Calypso Media. It's a game where you literally play as the prince of the underworld after being betrayed by your super jealous uh, girlfriend, Calypso, with a C, and she overtakes your crystal throne. Now, Back to where you once were at in the very start again of the evil Lord's hierarchy. The Prince of uh, the Underworld has to re-climb the entire hierarchy once more. Kaz just to get his revenge upon the treacherous. Some of the zombie king's skeletons escaped again, Master. For his sake. You stray too far from your dungeon house. I get it. So Calypso the Succubus wishes to get rid of her previous lover, ex-lover, so that she rules the underworld, <laughs> believing that she has the power and the right to do so, while at the same time she 
she threw him back where he once used to be in the lower staircase, the lower half of the pyramid in the hierarchy. Of evil, now he must get uh, back and give her the same kind to humiliation on the devil. We'll see about that. Really? Bye. Let's finish her off, please, will you? Thank you, Nameless Prince. By the way, it is the truth. The Prince of the Underworld literally is nameless. It's not even a joke. What am I supposed to do here? Kill the uh, this thing, the demonic could the town. Can see. Come over here. And once again, he dances upon the pentagram in order to take it over. Maybe these creatures would be easier for me to use them against the skeletons. So I took over them. What's this place? <laughs> I am seriously trying to explain to you what is going on, but my uh, tongue is kind of uh, tied. Not because of spoilers at all or anything of that sort. More like, um, frankly, I don't know what to say. Usually when I play these games, I simply just play them silently. Hold it. Uh, wait. So we have right. Oh, what? Um, I almost believe that we had triple the number. What, what did I do wrong? That's. You know what? <laughs> I know I messed up somehow, so just load the game. I know for a fact that I messed up somehow. Plus, you just reload. Okay, as if we didn't do anything at all yet. Fine. So, our mistress, the disgusting looking succubus, Decided that it's about time for the Prince of the Underworld to retire from his um, conquered crystal throne and decided that she's the best possible candidate to take over the whole control of the Underworld for some reason and that um, she simply had to open up the world for all of the humanoid heroes around. And with that, after her tree, uh, royal treason, she decided it's about time that the prince went back to the lower levels of the hierarchy of the evil lords and uh, began once again his ascent towards the boy. Basically, she wants to gain full control over what she did not even gain. She wants everything to be just for herself alone. Master, you've built a new prison. Excellent! Now your dungeon has room for even more customers. <laughs> Given and not earned. 
The problem is with this is that uh, our hero, the dungeon lord, in fact is kind of on the lazy side of things. So from being the pinnacle of uh, power in the underworld, now he's back to being just some nobody. Your mission currently in this game is to go back to being the strongest underworld. How do you do that? You need to collect all the pentagrams, you need to destroy those higher than you, and you overall need to- the king skeletons escaped again, master. Should you stray too far from your dungeon heart, you can use- And overall, you simply have to prove yourself that you are the undeniable port once again of the underworld. Have you finished dancing yet? Good. Finish this hero. So much slow. So slow. Move it. Finished. Your dungeon heart is in danger, master. Thank you for informing me about my dungeon's heart coming up this. Because my vampire bats are just that useless. Okay, do we have any new pentagrams, please? As a matter of fact, I do. Wow. Okay, um, it's got loaders right here. Some more. You know what? I will say where to go. Yeah, um, for now, this is enough. It's got loaders. You use this kit again and finish off this first head human being. As an advocate for gender equality for me, all humans are equally worthless. Everyone deserves death. How do I reach this place? Uh, can we somehow... No, we can't. Obviously, we can't just dig around it. What is this? Perhaps that's it of Discord. Can we somehow rat cave? Okay. Uh, Lord of the Underworld, come over here and let us. What is this? Armor? Stand. I believe it's one of the gimmicks. Here. You are very, very slow. And this hero is already satisfied. Finish it off. Stop. I believe we are supposed to come here for some reason. Ah, uh, yeah. Capacity 100. Okay. I need to pair here off. 45. It's floating chest filled with gold and uh, therefore a real hero magic magnet. However, a high level heroes will turn their noses up at the sight of before blending. It's <laughs> just the same. Okay, how do I fill this thing? Friends? How do I fill this thing? Expand the area of influence to include the treasure chest. Oh! Wow. Um, that's silly. Okay. 
Give me another one of these. Here. So far. Some of the zombie king skeleton. I swear I'm going to destroy the zombie king. This is pure provocation now. Okay, one more for the zombie. Here. See here. My skeleton warriors are now supposed to be strong enough alongside with the bats to get off these enemies for me. Finish off them off. Yes, it is right now within my influence. Uh, Go. Now it is within my influence area. No! Um, now what? The gold... 167. The dungeon heart has come under fire! I hate... What? Six, yes, yeah. Yeah. Is this a joke? Look, master. One of your goblins is filling up that treasure chest. I think you can open the hero's entrance now. Good to know, Mr. Sidekick. Good to know. I'd also good to know that all of my <laughs> minions are completely worthless and useless. Get this creature over here. Open the second they will get. We need more money and also we require faster. Come on! Thanks God! Damn it. Good. Hundred and what is it? Rats. Some here, please. I seriously need to keep this area completely secured. This is unacceptable. Wow. Don't work. Okay. Where do you think you're going? Finish them off, both. What is it? I need some more uh, status. Not this one. Give me the C. Zero points currently. I have 241. Why are these, is this area different color than that? This one's. Uh, come on here. Find this. If all of this is just gold hanging around, I will just need to get it all. Okay, um... I need some more. It? I believe that the rats possibly have already solved my problem with these damn things. That's uh, three population points, twenty prestige, and twenty. Some of the zombie kings. We get it. Twenty, right here. I don't care how much you cost. What I do care about is to make sure. 
that go in take some prof profit from this come over here prince finish him finish her destroy her well done now move it Okay, he's already done. Finish. Finish him quickly. So how? What? Oh, this thing still doing it. Why? Hidden in the heart. Twelve gold. <laughs> Are you uh, good work? Okay, so two out of three already. Four prisoners, very good. Let's go here and open up the other uh, place. How do I open this gate? You're being attacked. What is it? Hello? Of course I am being attacked. From a human that is not even worth my focus at all. So how do you exactly manage to prepare yourself for dungeons? Anyway. Simple really. There seems to be something hidden back there, Master. I have the feeling that we need to bring all of the monsters in the area under our control before we can carry on here. Try and bring all of the monster shelters in the area under your control. Oh, Master, look! This chest must hold the seeds of discord. Open the chest and take the artifact. Because I have already cleaned off the pentagrams. So one here for the best good luck. Best of luck. Because I need to make this... Excellent. With the seeds of discord, we can, well, sow a little discord. <laughs> I could almost burst with anticipation when I think of those fat halflings flailing away at one another with their thick little fingers. Yeah. Oh, when you sow the seeds of discord, Master, you really sow the seeds of discord. Just look at those halflings yell and fight among themselves. Nobody there is in the mood for song and celebration anymore. Where once you heard laughter, you now hear shouts of rage. Talk about music to your ears. And you've gained a little power in the process. I can feel the day of your revenge coming closer already. I saw nothing, I heard nothing. And uh, what are you exactly talking about anyway? Continue. Pleasant Creek. The mere mention of that oh so peaceful place makes my corns throb, Master. Although, to be honest, with inhabitants as simple minded as these, it must have been created to be subjugated by your reign of terror and to increase your power for the glorious day on which you exact your terrible revenge on that traitor, Calypso. It would be so simple, but there's just one problem. A good-hearted magician named Magnus Pollen Picker. This self-appointed champion of good protects the region from dastardly evil characters. People like us, Master. 
I'd recommend that you deal with this paltry little problem personally. It would be best if we dug our way into the cellar of his manor and lured him down there. The next bit should be pretty obvious. <laughs> Whirlwind, um, complete the mission in less than one hour. Do the obvious, finish the mission. Massive souls, uh, collect 500 soul energy. Style sack, sack up the boss. Pay the zombie king his gold. By the way, all of these do give me some kind of uh, prizes. Shift treasure, build at least 25 pounds of treasure. Uh, 5 miles of treasure, all gain 20 fields. Prospector, they get at least 40 fields. They get at least 60 fields. Survivor, I just make sure you, have, you never have to be resurrected through your dungeon heart. With any help. Never have three or more goblins. Buddy, get lost. Scrolls are just temporarily stuff. I need the permanent stuff. Solo entertainer. Never have uh, four or more goblins. No, never have five or more goblins. Buddy, the game gave me stuff. Gave me features. I'll use it. A gold collector have at least 300 uh, gold 500 700 acquire at least 150 prestige acquire at least 200 prestige acquire 275 and destroy at least 10 gimmicks extreme destructive and destroy at least 30 gimmicks like to pick things, five gimmicks. Let's go. Ah, Master, it's a good thing you're finally here. I hope you were able to sweeten your well earned break after that last battle against the forces of good with a few drinks and a few diabolic plans. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find that goody two-shoes Magnus Pollen Picker Cellar. As you may recall, he's the poor good-natured magician we want to do away with. <laughs> Master, as luck would have it, there are a number of underground guard posts in the area. I'm sure the use of a little excessive force could persuade them to Bit out the information. <laughs> Maybe along with a few teeth. Hmm? Master, you can now build some things yourself, such as pentagrams and piles of treasure. I recommend that you create a couple of vampire bat pentagrams, as they provide you a great deal of visibility. Then you should set up some treasure piles to motivate the heroes. In addition, you can now also place prestige gimmicks, Master. Just try it out and place one of them. You know that prestige makes you stronger. It also provides you with new options for construction. Okay, if you say so, Mr. Sidekick. You can now select pentagrams, treasures, and prestige gimmicks from the construction menu at the top right. Gold and other treasures. Treasures contain a certain amount of gold. Once uh, have has been removed, your goblin will begin to begin to fill, refill the pile of gold again normally. However, a hero will not take all of the gold found in the pile of treasure. Instead, each pile of the treasure has a maximum need, sets, need satisfaction level. This is the maximum number amount of gold a hero will take away. Once he has done so the treasure becomes uninteresting and he will ignore it why don't they just take it all don't even try to understand motivates what part of it serious <laughs> prestige gimmicks as you already know prestige gimmicks increase your prestige and thereby your combat value they they also attract heroes in their vicinity who then come to admire them 
And the more prestige one of those gimmicks has, the more likely a hero is to be interested in it. Gold veins. Uh, several gold veins are usually spread across the, its map. You will receive much more gold for digging gold veins than you do with normal fields. Always keep an eye open for the gold veins. Level increase for monsters. Heroes have a annoying habit. The annoying habit of getting mightier with every level. The only chance to compete is to upgrade your the level of your monsters using the button and the details of review of your dungeon heart. Wow! 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 Um, how much does this cost? Seven soul energy. Uh, again, 14 soul energy. 4-4. Four, four. Much better. Okay, you cannot... Uh, so what are we going to do here? Looks like we have some gold here to dig. This is the gate. Looks for dungeon. Um, so here's some gold. Yeah, of course, because this is the area of influence. Um, two gates right here and here. Area of influence, I need to dig it through the area of influence first. Okay. It's over here. This one. Um, I need to use these places for something. Most likely. This need to be uh these places need to be filled with gimmicks for prestige. Here's the thing in this game. I am literally making for the heroes system. Sacrificial column. Use this column to send the sources to your superior the zombie king for now. Uh, I need. I really hate to have superiors. I do really hate to have superiors. Uh, we need some more uh, goblins. Come here. I don't care about the challenge failed. We have for our prestigious stuff. Adventure wrist fire pit. The slant campfire blazed cheerful in the remembrance of the couple of dead heroes who posed here for a little rest and recuperation. Recuperation at too long ago. Every good dungeon needs one of these. Keyhole chair. Such things will come about when you order a door from a hearing impair carpenter, even if it somehow varies from the originally desired result, it still makes an appropriate impression for your dungeon ambience. <laughs> Weasley pile of skulls. This little pile of skulls is left over from the last party in your dungeon. First off, it lets heroes know what to expect, and secondly, it lets them know that there's no cleaning lady. There is not a clean lady. A prison chain inquisition wall. If anyone says that they just want to hang out in your dungeon, you can just chain them to the wall using this stylish chain. However, you should make sure to remove the remaining of the last guest before doing so. <laughs> I like this. Okay, I believe I better um, increase the status of this prison since we'll be using it. No worries. Some more goblins. I don't care about the challenges being failed. Challenges failing, I don't care. What's this thing? Weasley Brazil Wall. This little brazier is mounted 
to the wall and is an absolute necessity for every terrifying dungeon. It casts an eerie yellow light as cozy flames rise from the center. <laughs> okay. Uh, wall shelf, small brood. Stylish wall shelf would come directly from the large furniture store and comes complete with missing screws. It's obviously used to store the remains of the original designers. <laughs> okay. Uh, question a new hero few heroes from the local guard posts. For now, I would like to increase the size of this dungeon by obviously taking some stuff here. Because we need to start uh, doing some of our specific stuff. I better stop seeing stuff and rather do uh, speak about something more uh, lit literate. Okay. Give me uh, what is this it's need now? Ten prestige. Twenty prestige points per first. Okay, this thing here, the prestige gimmick. Um. Okay. Open up for me this this right here. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay. Um. Can't share. Let's make this a little rest for the adventurers. Okay. This just... I need to focus more on some other parts of... Pile of gold. Uh, measly pile of gold. It's beautiful heap of gold can warm the hearts of the extremely low level heroes. For more powerful heroes, something like this wouldn't be worth the effort required to stop and pick it. <laughs> yeah, that's written. Just of gold. The certain chest is filled with gold, and therefore a real hero magnet. <laughs> Moreover, however, the high-level high heroes will turn their nose up at the side for plundering it just the same. <laughs> okay, um, what's this? Large cell. We need 400 prestige for this. Spacious cell offers room for four clients. Seriously? <laughs> you really get off on... Packing those heroes into little leaf vessels, didn't you? <laughs> but a little to be known that since this is the first game ever for uh, Realm Forge and Calypso to make, they did add too many silly inside joke, inside joking. Um, this one, Yamyam Village delete. Yeah. This one, safe. We will not be going back to Camion, so whatever. Some prestige before we do anything else. Also, this cell right here, this uh, present cell, will be our uh, welcoming ground for the disgusting humans. So, I was saying again, how do does one prepare themselves for playing Dungeons, exactly. Really simple. You go to uh, Reddit uh, r4.slash slash palm. You go through um, Reddit uh, r4.slash slash uh, ban pitfalls. And you go through uh, basically the majority of Reddit. And little by little, you will start. Um, Getting it triggered more and more about humans' endless um, idiocy and complete stupidity to the point where you will just wish to purge the entire race forever. Because anyone else that doesn't take that kind of a, a response is a liar. Anyone here? Excellent work, Master. Keep building prestige gimmicks to increase your power. I get it. Some uh, fun, maybe, but here. It's okay, we still have still some so energy yet left. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Something like, like this here. Here. Okay. 
it didn't need to be too many so that we can still have some more here okay what else um another charity here nice it's very nice very nice indeed uh wow what did we unlock here excuse me uh, eternal peace uh, coffin this gimmick is the uh, dream of every vampire it is made of solid oak and it's specifically built to withstand worms and maggots for the considerable time in the dungeon it is always good to remember reminding the monsters as well as heroes of their mortality <laughs> uh, waiting room chair wow the chair is widely used in doctor and administrators waiting room around the world and comes complete with a slightly decayed occupants <laughs> okay my bladder by the way is completely genuine not made up because this is the first time for me to ever play this game chandelier Cand candle bra this creepy candlestick fights the eerie atmosphere that helps both monsters and yours feel right at home. Really? <laughs> well, Fresco Knights of Graves Wall. This deceitfully real looking, deceitfully sculpt of a knight's grave <laughs> makes many of the heroes of blood run cold and at least sends that shut down their spines <laughs> as if a malicious dungeon lord like you would waste so energy in this way <laughs> what is this thing a sarcophagus sarcophagi are always stylish and must uh, a must for every diable they are blue hell dungeon however they are shunned by vampires and the other undead because the lid is heavy and hard to open and it's easy to get a hand or a cloak cut it ouch okay the last three decor cane stereo pretty much just so to say stay a while and listen i don't understand what's the joke here uh, Mr. Sidekick statue. Your loyal servant is a status statue. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, go to it doesn't go to over his head. <laughs> and the cool demon statue. This statue reminds you of something subliminal. A uh, message by Seville by Se <laughs> Perhaps another game. Whatever. Yes, the character is from a humorous adventure game named Seville. <laughs> Dear Lord, how much silliness! Do you still need to keep having? <laughs> okay, so, vampire bats. We need some, not only for the throne room's sake, but also in order to uh, uh, increase our furlongs. <laughs> rush you. Currently, we have uh, 20. <laughs> so, let me take this one here and this one here. We also do require some more gold. Is there a furlongs, please? Very nice, indeed. Now, what are we going to do? Um, for they are just these are just our only gimmicks. We'll have to take some gold. Or gold. I need to make sure that we get all the gold across this place because we do need to have some more improvements to our dungeon. Uh, don't worry at all, the normal uh, real-time strategic uh, stuff, RTS, uh, we will reach them eventually with Dungeons 2, the second game. Currently, we'll have to just uh, play alongside with Dungeons 1 to make sure we understand what is going on exactly in here. So, there's a place over here. Uh, that's a little bit of gold. I'll go to the pile so that we make sure this... So the human beings actually do come here and check that place out. Okay. Um, what else? I need some more prestigious stuff because uh, otherwise I'll not be able to get enough uh, for the prison, I think this, I think so. Okay, um... Q. 
Okay, I won't sell. See this. What's this? Okay, uh, right here. One, two. Four. Uh, eternal peace, Sarkafen. Stint 20. Enough of the uh, message gimmicks for now. Let me first and foremost make a share of one thing, simple thing. Before I save my game, though. Is the OBS OB still recording? Yes, it is. 55 minutes so far. Let's get moving then. Save the game. Uh, peasant kick. <laughs> Save. Yes. Thank you. Game saved. <laughs> Two chairs. A little uh, warming stuff here. What is this thing? Oh. <laughs> this is uh, kind of uh, interesting. Artistic. Right here. <laughs> Okay, a pile of bones. Why not uh, place some next to the gold? Um, so. What's left? What is it? Okay, um. So. you please uh, hurry up and dig this thing? I need to think more. Effective uh, prestige right for this place. Also, we need some more uh, bar pads to be able to. Here's my uh, sending a little bit more. The influence. Okay. <laughs> I need this place to not be um, disturbed. Give me a uh, wait a minute. This is another one right here. Um, this entrance may be a problem. Right here, one of the mapper um, bats. Three points. Okay. Twenty prestige. Yes. What's this? Skeletal warriors. Uh, skeletal warriors are very good. Standard requires ninety. Um, to eighty. Um, get me here. Not here. Don't forget that these guys also require much more space. Uh, Would it kill you to be fast a little bit? For the four, um, can I somehow uh, summon goblins more 150? So, that, of course. Okay. <laughs> What makes exactly for me this game to be a beautiful one? Invisible loves games where you can, in fact, summon creatures and monsters and uh, train them to your will. I love games where you get to have the power fantasy of your dreams and you are their master as a summoner. Magic and pentagrams, the sort of stuff. Even Harry Potter games, I do enjoy them. Hi, how are you? Oh no. We If this guy really goes to the dive to here and I need to make sure that these are not that stupid. Give me another one of these uh, vampire bats right here. We need to increase more the number of our elephant runs skill.
I cannot tell you. It's exactly like that. Very good, very good. Okay. I'm so sorry that the game is very much going so slow right now, but I do need to excavate in order to gain some more money. We're almost at our um, shorter end for the population. <laughs> Frankly, our place here of uh, control is quite big, but small. <laughs> Should I just let the hills start uh, arriving? I mean, the place is kind of cozy. Nice and warm, with some pleasantries of gold and... Uh, gimmicks for them to start giving me even more um, prestige to make the place more homey. We have some uh, nice sets here. Also, we have some vampire bats. Very nice. Would it kill you to go any faster? Two only, we need some more prisons. How much does the prison cost? Prestige, basically, obviously. So, solitary confinement. Give me one more of these. Um, right here, please. One. Okay, and uh, here. Uh, of course, I would remove them once I get better ones. Two. Sixty for each of them. Three. Um, it's not enough. I can now hold up to six uh, to five uh, enemies. Keep taking off some, some more uh, gold, please. I need to get my hands on something else in here. What is this place? Can I dig it through it? Perhaps I can, in fact. Perhaps I can. Um, let's get through right here. Thing is, this is not under my influence. Which is a problem. Okay, I only have four goblins. No worries, honestly, by, by the way, the, the games of dungeons are always slow-paced. Always, all the time. They are not by nature slow-paced. Since you need to make sure you design the entire place from the grounds up really nicely. So that nothing goes wrong. Nine points? Uh, okay, I think. More agility. I need speed. Intelligence, constitution. I need some more strength. It's two. Twelve like this. Two more. Um. Defensive value, attack value, mana, magicka. Strong resistance, uh, give me strength and agility. Done. Do you have any points to place in our grimoire? Grimoire? Yes. Spells, please, spells. Six points left. Okay, this is beautiful. So what am I exactly aiming for in this place? Okay, Berserk Rage. Skill will make you much more powerful since it increases the attack value of all the standard attack. Um, attack, the higher level makes you even more powerful. 
This skill unlocks the first level of Berserk Rage spell. Higher level increase the spell power. This spell sends you into a Berserk or Rage. The result is increased in attack and damage value, allows you to beat your opponents more soundly than ever. However, the whole team comes at the expense of your defense and for the duration of the spell, you will give off a spicy aroma of an orc. I have never it even stronger. What's this? This skill unlocks the first level of poison arrow spell. Higher level and increase the spell power. Fires a poisonous green arrow at your target. The enemy is thus poisoned so they don't just don't uh, take immediate damage, but also continue to suffer damage over a long period of time. Higher levels increase the damage of the toxicity. Okay, what is this? Sweeping blue, roundhouse kick. <laughs> this skill activates the first level of the spell sweeping blow. Higher levels of the skill is okay. The sweeping blow allows you to carry out a normal attack against all the other enemies. You must first have spent at least five points in this category. You need to master the improved attack. Okay, so first uh, this one and then this one. What's this? Protect soul. soul. Defeated heroes begin to rot and lose their soul energy if you don't lock them up in the prison right away. This skill grants a short period of protection, during which time the heroes do not lose any of their precious soul energy. Flame Strike the skill unlocks the first level of the flame strike spell. High levels, okay, this spell allows you to cast a powerful flame strike, guaranteed to show your opponent a real hard time. 10 points of the release, so this and this, unlock this. What's this? Improved attack spell. Or someone just uh, improved the range of attack for the same uh, poison arrow. Improved damage, same stuff. Fireball. Right here. With this spell, you are set for a barbecue season. A fireball flies to hit your opponents. This causes an explosion, which also roasts ad adjunct uh, adjacent foes. You could also use this spell to create some truly fascinating fireworks if the dungeon ceiling will when I'm so low, higher levels of the increase the spell damage and any of the effect. More critical hits, and finally this one, extra life force. Some wimps swear by healing spells, but why only heal when you can also hurt your opponent at the same time to extract your target's life force and get part of it back as health? Higher level, okay. So that's what sells the that's one. Self-made villain. Lackeys often turn out to be useless, forcing the boss to take matters into his own hands. This skill rewards you with the soul energy whenever you kill a hero yourself. The exact amount depends on how much energy the hero had. The higher the skills plus first spend 20 points in this category. So basically the the challenges in the game give me these points so I can invest them into this subgrades. Improved intelligence, uh, improved defense, and quick silver. I believe this is the speed. So we have here improved speed, um, improved monster and traps. Very good. This also needs from me first to have spent five points at least. Freeze unlocks the first. Okay, so this is perfect for the heat. Tempered, you fire off an ice bolt which hits your target, not only causing damage but also slowing it down. So I have fireball and uh, freeze. Improved health, improved resistance. Ice shield, extremely unuseful uh, spell, and drops you three ice opponents who are still stupid enough to strike you. Not only will cause less damage, but also take themselves damage from the burning gold. Heal. To purchase expensive healing potions. This thing is right here after I have spent 15 points. Seriously? Invulnerability or invincibility. This spell makes you invulnerable for a short period, allows you to soak up the HM of uh, the total and his energies. 10 points. 
close entrance. If you don't know whether you're coming to or going because of the hordes of the heroes of your dungeon, this spell is a thing for you. It lets you close and already open entrance again but to make your life easier. Are you saying that I cannot just simply close the entrances? Mm. This. Light in the darkness, uh, of course. Uh, what a remit. And it's full. Dungeon Lord, Jack, and so on. So no, your tremors part not in light. Light of the dungeon. Uh, light the dungeon Lord. What is the point from this? I'm literally understand. Far sight, which is previously invisible to you, is remained for the duration of the spell. The highlight spells. Missile magic, the magic missile. I need this. Expect much from this, okay. <laughs> the improved guardian. Um, Sheeper needs gimmick. This skill turns you into an ace bargain hunter, <laughs> allows you to buy all the library and armor gimmick at much favorable prices. This is a must. Um, improved to convert plenty this business during with short result. This is basically a faster way. Pacism. Uh, this spell. Uh, you can plunge already notorious delicate heroes into a deep and identity crisis, which is uh, usually reflected in the fate of rage directly against their surroundings. In the, in the pinnacle uh, principle, this spell makes heroes furious at you and your dungeon set of the dungeon. Wow! Super prestige gimmicks, uh, improved pentagrams, improved invisibility. Sneak past the champions and the larger her hero rags. So whenever you defeat a hero in the future, a greater quantity of gold. Okay. Improved workers and finally the last one is increased gold hero needs. It's you know, the skill demands the hero to enter it summons him to accumulate even more soul energy. Okay, so for now, uh, six points. I need uh, some stuff here. Give me improved uh, defense. Me magic myself. Your spell is waiting for use, master. Good work. <laughs> Give me a new spell is waiting for use, master. Okay. Sight. Sight. Swan goblin. So here, uh, give me one more points. We need to finish some stuff here. I think the games here are the main uh, thing to finish off. So give me um. Darkness. To remain visible for duration of time. Give me um, faster speed. Give me this one needs chains uh, five points at least. One, uh, three, one. Give me a new spell has been added to your spell book, master. Give me some more this. Good enough for now. Just give me my grimoire. Spells this for me as well. Um, quicksilver. I think this is enough for now. Hopefully. Aren't we done yet here? Well, I'm getting some more uh, gold. Come here and uh, locals. <laughs> um, to the locals, locals. This guys, do we need to unlock the? To the here. Okay. Um, break this wall for me. It. Outside of my reference, I think. I cannot do it. I can. Can I? Um. 
Nope. That does from this place. Um, okay. The, uh, what is this? Another uh, area. So if we do this here, we need some more. 19 left. Gamex, Gamex, Gamex. And Gamex right here. Right here. And that's literally it from this place. Um, one path is more than enough. Proper bats. Um, something here to load them out. A pile of gold. Good. Okay. So far, the dungeon is well uh, prepared, kind of, sort of. There's some more prestige gimmicks. Some more trim. Nice work. Uh, these guys will try their very best to go to another place where... I believe we can't yet go there because uh, there is data around my area uh, for uh, Two more points. Not now. Just yet. <laughs> We're doing this the... Uh, points of the... To limit the uh, someone. <laughs> okay. Thank you, I'm trying my very best to not overdo it. Give me another one of these right here. I believe we'll need them. Especially that I need to increase my effort runs. Size. Nice work. Shall met known and dreaded. Come on, Apollo Gold. I'd like to come here and explore humans. Do I really have to just get to them? Yeah, that's it. Except now. 116 prestige, of course it's very good. But the thing is, we don't have much in the solar energy. <laughs> we'll have to bring them some enemies right here. They don't dare to go any further because it's outside of my elephant funds. Um, what do we have here also other humans? How direct is this place? Most likely through this clear uh, entrance. I cannot get to this place because we still lack the amount of. <laughs> Um, full ones, range. <laughs> okay, um, looks like there is no other uh, option but for me to let, uh, by then, um, break this one, break this, and then break this. Um, also, Mr. Uh, Prince. Kill them. Silver. Get here. Faster. Nice. Oh no, don't hurt me. 
I'm much too low in level to die. Then tell us everything you know about Magnus Pollen Picasella and how we can lure that magician out. The cellar is well hidden underground and the only doors leading in are tightly locked. If you actually make it in, you should sow chaos and destruction. That's sure to bring him running. After all, that's where he stores important items for his experiments. Sounds interesting. All of them burned. Okay, good. So you're very good. Um, question a few, you know, even more. Just some more. Okay. Looks like the um, dungeon lord will have to go some. Just... Honestly, I have no idea what to do. Over here. Perhaps enter this place. Let's see what word uh, this takes us. Can just walk in it. Or... Really? It's just a gimmick. At the minute now I can move a little bit uh, freer or freely through my dungeon. Check out the place. These are the vampire bats then. This is the pentagram for them. Okay. Here more. Okay, until I uh, can figure out what to do, let's uh, open up the gates for the enemies. Let's see if we can gather some more prestige points. Since honestly, we do require some more knowledge. This is exactly right. Frankly, no idea. This is come over here. How do I reach this place anyway? In, in fact, how do I even break this? Can we break this place right here? Um, okay. If we can break through this, it would be really good. I cannot break this wall. It's okay. Currently, I'm uh, right here looking at this guy. We still need to go to this place, which we don't really know yet how to reach. What is this? Old Tower Vampire Bats. I don't have an idea what tower will be doing with this one. Please. What's this? Stairway down. Stairway leads down to your current boss. So this uh, staircase goes to the zombie king. Okay. Um. Thank you, goblins. Uh oh, we're under attack. I think this is the time for a strategic withdrawal. What? Master, that rotten coward has locked himself in. I'm afraid you won't be able to use the door. If your path is blocked, there may be a stairway around this obstacle. Their goblins and their shovels could, uh, could certainly help with that. How? Anyway, uh, Mr. Uh, the Lord Carrier. Not matter. Finish them off. Well done. 
the coward will have to be the one we get this from how oh this is how goblin get him Hello, Mr. Coward. What's up? The wimps around here are so cowardly, it's almost not worth the effort of beating information out of them. But only almost. <laughs> Talk, you! How can we get into Magnus Polympicus' cellar? Um, unfortunately, I have no idea whatsoever. But wait, don't hurt me. I can help you. There's a fence running around the underworld here who sells all sorts of illegal stuff. He can help you for sure. All you have to do is give him the secret password. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Master, I think we should talk to that fence. What's the password? You're going for now. It's not here. Don't worry, we will come back to kill you. That's at the moment. What is the password? <laughs> Hello, Marshall Fence, whatever. Psst. What's the secret password? Swordfish? The password is Swordfish? Oh, excellent. What are you looking for? I can get you anything that even hints of illegality. We need a key to get into Magnus Pollen Picker's cellar. I can help you there. However, it won't come cheap. I'm going to want a lot of gold for that. Best would be if you were to just pile it up in heaps here in this room so that I can count it. <laughs> I'd like three fully loaded rotten chests of gold in this room. As soon as they're in my room, fully loaded, I'll either tell you where you can find the key or give it to you myself. Oh, Master, we unfortunately can't be sure that we can simply beat the information or even the key out of him. I would therefore suggest that we fulfill this boar's wishes and get the gold. After all, we're talking about a much greater evil here. <laughs> Fine. I'll tell you, your time is up. I only took from you what I needed. So now, human, get out of hell. Where you belong? <laughs> If the prestige and 90 to earn quarter uh, cost 90 by times uh, 3. Oh, oh, experience. Wait a minute, I, I can in fact do this. I can in fact wait 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 uh, but the thing is I need my influence um I don't really do it oh. what ifs what ifs what ifs um one two uh, three the end most likely because I'm currently playing at easy mode. Because I do want to play it on easy for now. Make the game a little much more fun to play. But I don't wait for this uh, annoying nuisance. Here we go. I'll make sure to kill you once I get what I want. I want to hold my gold back. This one rotten chest of gold. Two to go. 
Thank you, Goblin, for the gold. For how long have I been playing this now? It's like only one hour. There you go, nuisance. Ah, piles of gold. <laughs> Wonderful. I have managed to have a copy of the original key made in the meantime. However, I forgot to mention earlier that while the key will let you open the gates, a powerful protective spell still surrounds the area, making the walls impenetrable. You're going to have to find a way to deal with that. Oh, it's just one thing after another. Master, I think this shield is going to be a hard nut to crack. However, it shouldn't pose a problem for a prestigious dungeon lord such as yourself. That is, if you are prestigious enough. Master, once you've collected enough prestige, you should be able to use it to shatter the spell surrounding the cellar. Master, come over here. Then we'll see if you can break the spell. Stitch for you. Okay, so now I think we have the key for the... Can I now remove these things? Let's first uh, collect the prestige. I don't think we are still that confident. So what does prestige uh, collecting mean? It means we need to start with... Uh, 200, wait a minute, 200 prestige already? Is this what they mean by playing it on easy? I did say that I wish to play it on easy so that I can enjoy the story more. But this is kind of a little bit too easy. Regardless, I'm happy. Look, Master, it would seem the power of your presence alone has weakened the spell. The rock over here has become soft enough for your workers to dig through. <laughs> Excellent! It's time to lay waste to Magnus's cellar. I do realize you wish for me to see me building the dungeon and uh, opening up the... <laughs> Passage for the heroes and whatnot, since we already did prepare this place. But also, why should I waste my time with all of this? I mean, I could just simply ask my goblins to end this level as fast as possible. I mean, we do still have quite the journey for us. You know what, since I do wish to finish the game as fast as possible so that I can return to recording for you Dungeons 2 and Dungeons 3, so be it. I am a person that loves the story over the challenge. Anyway. How many more shall Wait a minute, can I check the challenges we have somewhere here? Let's log. Uh, of course, I can't uh, finish off the level as fast as I can, but also I do need to finish off these quests. Gathering, met, uh, met, met the good mage, mall, uh, met, met, met. Understand uh, one. Uh, souls, uh, one second point of point. For, okay, soul energy. We need some more soul energy. Which means I will open them. I do need uh, more uh, energy. Come here. This thing. Uh, it's points. This gives me four attribute points, uh, this gives me scroll, 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 and this gives me 25 points of gold. I have a cabinet 700. 
25 pounds of gold. A new hero's entrance has been opened. Should we have sent her there? If it is a uh, scroll and loader, uh, fail, fail, letter care, never have five or five. What a scroll. I don't care about scrolls at all, pre 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 personally, because they are just very much too far. Two of the uh, two here, okay. I do require more, even more uh, girls to come here. <laughs> uh, but don't overdo it because I don't want uh, to ha run out of um, power and monsters to visit the place. Okay, so currently I just need to uh, have uh, approximately. I need to destroy 30 killing souls, just scrolls. What I need is just massive souls. We need four points, 500 soul energy. That's it. This is why the walkthrough I watched previously uh, for this game two years ago. If the player took uh, his time what, so that he could finish off some more questing. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Some more, some more. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Let me think. If I remove this from here, open up here another resting area for the annoying nuisance, the human beings. Okay. Give me some more prestige. Just one minute to stand. Okay, we do need to collect some more soul energy. Set them to you, please, from now and for now. Is there something that we have to make sure about? Yeah, well, I met, 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 good match. The loner, the floor, to 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 the floor, Okay, here we have three. Okay, uh, four. Uh, five. Six. Welcome, Sol Energy. Um, seven. Some heroes have pretty strange needs. This hero admits his masochistic urges, which are satisfied when he takes damage from monsters during combat. Uh, the sickness of the internet has arrived. <laughs> from soft. Okay, give me... Well, this just... Master, look over there! A hero is admiring one of your prestige gimmicks. It's certainly interesting to see how heroes like to go from one prestige gimmick to the next to admire them. You can use this information to influence how heroes move through your dungeon. Interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, give me some more prestigious stuff. Um, lights. Here. Uh, run out completely out of energy. So energy. Hmm. Need some more pentagrams. 
Uh, give me something right around. Look, Master, there are two heroes talking about your dungeon. You should keep a sharp eye on that kind of thing, for if a hero is in a bad mood, he can quickly pass it on to others around him. Ill-tempered heroes are generally no longer impressed by your dungeon, but rather want to destroy your beloved dungeon heart instead. You may end up having to cut that kind of troublemaker out of the herd and eliminate them. What? That's... I am meeting their uh, needs little by little. Dark Lord bit. Nice. So need some more press press energy. This is my first real adventure. Do you care to go fight some vampire bats right here? Like you to enjoy your stay in the dungeon. This theme park stuff thingy. Would you like to work? Summon stuff already. For her sake. <laughs> Okay. Work. Activate. Activate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thirty. For God's sake, come on. Thumper bats. We they will get sick quickly from the same things all the time. Thank you, finally! Hey! Hey! You and you are masochists, come here! You are degenerates from, uh, from soft, come here! I said get here! It's a more solid energy! And you both are not even yet satisfied yet! Get over here! Please! What are you? Hello! Combat! Very good, very very good. More vampire bats for you to get killed with. Come on. Good, 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 good. This more solar energy. Come on now. Not wow, too fast, please. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Keep moving. To my uh, heroes have become. St oh dear lord. Uh, solar energy. Solar energy. More solar energy. Or else I'm going to get really ruined. Stronger. This needs him to be satisfied. Stronger. Okay. It's about time. Finish them. Well done. Now this booth will give us some more soul energy. If, uh, okay, if he two. How much do I have to need? 24. Go for it. Good work. Some more uh, goblin limit. We need some more. 40, forget it. 
Thank you for saving the game. Um, I want to open this place as well. I need to get some more prestigious stuff. So this here and right here. Okay. We need also some other uh, here, here. I know we need uh, this thing to have uh, 500, but give me a break. I do need to, to some more. Um, entertainment for them, amusement. Okay, well, I've been testing some more, some more, some more, some more. Some more. I can find something useful around here. Nice. Okay. Perhaps it's a frog jobs, but this one needs 20. How much did they say I need here? So some souls, we need 500 total energy. Uh, so this is where you're hiding and Building your miserable little dungeon. Uh, we're doing our best. It seems that's not good enough. But never mind. I have started a widow's and orphan's fund for the undead. The gold collected provides these poor undead creatures with care and nurturing, giving them a better future. However, it is just a little short on gold right now. I'm sure you want to donate a lot of gold. I hope that your donation will soon arrive at my treasury. Use the sacrificial column to transfer me the gold. How much does this uh, liar want? 200? Whatever, whatever. Um, hammer, please. Give him the damn thing. Ah, wonderful. Thanks to this gold, I can open an undead orphanage where little zombies can innocently play. That sounds extremely um, tempting, oh lord of the mindless hordes. Unfortunately, we must now see about dealing with that madness, pollen picker. <laughs> Obviously, he's a liar, because undead can't have kids to begin with it. Where are the heroes? Uh, heroes, where are you? Wait, where did they go? Don't tell me they ran away. Oh, here, right here. Come on, we need uh, we need some more stuff here. <laughs> Give me here some more gold, maybe to bring them forth. Or uh, I need something else here. Um, okay, so where were we? Yeah, we were doing some more prestigious stuff here. All right. Okay. I need some more stuff that can get me some uh, as prestige, prestige skins plus five. This one. Circle of a guy. Um, perhaps right, something like right here. Okay, and we need uh, this thing. Here. I also need this. Try your very best to not make them keep repeating. Ah, repeat all the time, because if they keep going on repeat, <laughs> heroes will get sick of them very quickly. 
Go. Why are these suddenly um, three points? That's why. Uh, one, two, three. There you go. And for this one, attribute points. Uh, 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 let me think. 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 We need some more power up. For frankly. You need some more power up. This goes here. Give me this thing right here. Uh, proof to that. This thing is just passive. Whatever. Here we go. These uh, guys are destroying my stronghold. Him. Yes. Finish him. Or her, or whatever. Finish the disgusting humans. The disgusting humans. Well done. Now go back to the dungeon lord. Already at 181. Very good. What are we waiting for? Are you serious, Goblins? Um... Okay... Let's run away faster. Oh, goblins. <laughs> we need some more stuff here for the prestige. Um... Are they playing good drug paper scissors? <laughs> for real? <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> More prestige, more prestige, pretty good. 200! Beautiful. You want to fight some stuff? Here you go, some vampire uh, rats. No need to kill them yet. Um, more solar energy, more prestige, more stuff. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Let me think. So far, the, the influence over here from this place is pretty good. Almost the point is no need to even to open this uh, gate yet. So I think that if I do open it, I'll then be able to get even more faster precision and more even faster uh, spirit points. Speaking of which, can I just yet not yet reach 400 precision needed to still? Um, I get rid of this thing. Skimmick. Very good. Why? Because I am going to get myself another one of these common cells right here. Cells. Faster, please. I don't want um, the brainless uh, zombie king to once again uh, come back uh, to contact us yet. Not, not uh, preferred it for the harvesting. Prestige gimmicks, please uh, check them out. Enjoy the prestige gimmicks, please. Leave the goblin alone. Nice. More prestige. Let that goblin go. Almost uh, ready for the harvesting. Almost. Not yet. Nice. More solar energy for me. <laughs> Upon reaching 500 here, I believe I'll get moving to the fifth of the other stuff. I think I'm starting right now to understand that I do need to finish off some missions from this area so that I can get my uh, prince stronger. Not sure about the scrolls though. Since. Uh, these things are just temporary. They're not worth uh, the energy or even the... These things are just one single use. It's one of them. Full. Almost, but not yet. Come on, come on. Finish. 
Now, go back to stressing uh, within your uh, Tangent Hearts uh, domain. Nice work. Almost at 500 already. I love playing on easy. Because easy is fun. Right here, please. Thank you! Okay, almost that 500. Almost. Check out the other side to adjust your behavior. Don't give a uh, caring at all about this one. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Artist, uh, resurrection, scroll. Uh, scroll. It's just, uh, scroll again. Scroll, scroll, scroll. With... No need to destroy these things. There's no need. Souls for attribute points for, for 500, and this one is actually attribute points completely just the mission in one this time, one hour. How long have I been playing this so far? Uh, this mission is there a timer that I can check it uh, as a fact? Please save my game here. Oh my back! Yeah, and there is a timer. Speak. Save. Yes. Uh, let me just check it quickly here. Uh, 20. I think we're already over the one hour, but whatever. Continue. We're almost at 500 uh, solar energy, which is really good. My dungeon lord is strong, but not too strong so that he can take over. <laughs> more of these enemies. I just noticed this eyes actually glow. Prestige. Some even more uh, spirit energy. Come on, 30 to go. And some more. So this is uh, Huntress, I think. Good. Come on now. Good. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> if possible, get rid of her for me. Coward. A monster just tore one of your heroes apart, Master. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> oh my. Four points. Good work. Give me agility. Give me uh, intelligence. Give me constitution. Give me more strength. Beautiful. Okay, what do I need now? One point. Okay. Four points. Let's uh, open this one here. Now I can get myself that protect soul. I think we're done. I don't need no scrolls. My nose is runny. Okay, I think that's about it, really. Better get moving to that uh, place here to get rid of the enemies. How do I even open this uh, place up? I have currently 600 plus uh, souls. So, you know what? It's about time that I get my bigger, uh, biggest possible one. Burn the position still. Honestly. Uh, <laughs> prestige, we need some prestige. Yeah, prestige here. Here. So this right here. This right here. 
So give me a pile of bones. And tap out here. here. Give me some sarcophagi. Here and here. Give me this kind of a chair. Right in the middle of them. This is joke also. Here. Very nice indeed. Where are these enemies? Okay, as for now, the dungeon lord himself. Turn on this thing on here. Get here. Spill off the silver sweeper. And run like you have never run before. We'll use uh, Clip Out the Dungeon Heart if needed. Come here. Let's finish this level. Level as fast as possible. Too many heroes. Okay. Go! Alert! We're under attack! <laughs> Stem off. Excellent, Master. That's the last of the cellar guards. Now, tear the cellar apart, and that useless magician will show himself. By the way, I think that's about time. <laughs> damn you to hell. Literally, damn you to hell. Oh, uh, yeah. Some serious problems in here. Um, the dungeon heart is taking damage. That's what I was afraid of. Die. Die. Not now. Come on, this is unfair. This is unfair. Faster. If the dungeon heart dies, this mission is completely a failure. Where's the prince? Right here. A hero has managed to escape you by, um, well, escaping, master. Never mind them. Just the heart. Dork. It's for these who really are truly stinging my patience. So we got some gold. Finish it off. Finish it off. I'm not wasting my time, frankly. <laughs> yeah, these scrolls are just here so I can use them. That's the need for mana. Now I'm starting to understand something because I do need some of these. Okay, this one. Delete it. Can you give me. Just looking at this. Here. Eight of them now. Work. Uh, more piles of gold so that I can keep the uh, situation of these cities. What is here, right here? Some more right here. Okay. 
thanks to that. Okay. Thank you. It's worth it. <laughs> We already are at 2020. Dungeon Heart, heal yourself, please. Wow. It's a per second. Five, please. Just help yourself. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> On. Some more gold, some more precious stuff. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. It's really funny to see the heroes just enjoying themselves in this end amusement dungeon. <laughs> Please uh, like to say uh, be uh, someone who's one a little bit faster. I know we have been on this uh, level for far too long by now. Still. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Almost done. Almost done. Okay, this is destroy. Experience. Experience. I'm not letting anyone of this this time to run away. My mobs can kill you, it would be really better than I myself to have to do this on my own. Okay, this one is getting too close to my liking. Hi! We good? Finish the two entrances. Okay. Almost done. Yeah, let's get him. We need to finish off this level as fast as possible. Now we have a thousand. Very beautiful. Finish him off. Nice work. Prince of the, the, the Prince of the Dungeons. Your spirit is still too low. Mana. I need some more mana. 57 is nothing at all. Although so his points are very bad, aren't you? Okay, now keep moving here. Finish off the entire business. This is worse than I thought. There we go. Okay, now here. Trash the place. Trash the place. Trash the place. Trash the place. What are you doing in here, Goblin? Trashing. More trashing to, do, to be done. <laughs> what fiend dares pollute my cellar with his odious presence? That was a very big, very stupid mistake. has come. Prepare to die. The legendary undead butcher, Butch, will be fighting at my side. First, I had to defeat him in battle and then rejoin some of his body parts. But after that, he joined me. 
Master, did you hear that? This Butch would be a great ally for us. Maybe he will join you. But before he does, you must first defeat him in battle. I believe in you, Master. Go out there and kick his fat zombie butcher butt. Excuse me? Ich hab's das Zivil fest hier. You must not be killed. Let's see here. Ice shield. This is the usage for the scrolls then. Emergency use. Excellent master! You certainly showed that magician. They'll soon be calling Pleasant Creek the River of Tears. <laughs> In addition, you defeated the undead butcher and can summon him from now on. This mighty being will guard your dungeon heart for you, so that you no longer need to protect it yourself. Give it a try, master. Summon him. Okay, let's summon. You can summon the undead butcher, butcher by pressing the corresponding button in your dungeon heart. <laughs> Here. Look, Master. Butch is now at your disposal and awaits any hero stupid enough to enter your dungeon heart. I'm sure he'll prove to be extremely helpful in the future. Ah, the terrified screams of the inhabitants are music to my ears. Since you saw to it that Magnus Pollen Picker is no more, Nothing stands in the way of the hordes of evil. Very good. Um, it is 12 feet right now. I think I'll have to end this, this things here right now. Happy Hills. Happy Hills is the home of lazy sheep, both the two legged and the four legged types. Master? I suggest you take the opportunity to make your name synonymous with fear and terror in the so-called minds of these docile fools. Show these good-natured idiots what a true lord of terror is, and increase your reputation and prestige. The increase in your power will bring you yet another step closer to your just revenge. I don't know for a fact that you believe I am playing a little bit too easily, but regardless. I am playing this for you, for the story, not for the challenge or for the gameplay. You're finally here, O oh hero of the underworld and master of terror. I have already dispatched dozens of scouts to spy upon the land and its people. Many of these groveling worms never made it back, but <laughs> what can you do? This is a hero's entrance, master. We should concentrate on materials for the time being. We'll need a few of these repulsive good and bulgy-eyed heroes for that, so that we can squeeze them. I'm sure that you are well aware of how to handle this bunch, O oh Lord of Terror. I started this level so I can save the game. This is it. Happy Hills. Save. What else? I came here also to um Pleasant Creek you have status Wow uh, this one delete 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 I only want the most recent one here this one and that's not it
We've been recording for 2 hours and 40 minutes. Wow. I think this is about it for this uh, today's uh, session. Since uh, I am kind of tired right now. That's why. I've been playing Dungeons 1 on Steam for 4 or 5 hours so far. It's fine. Um, as far as I can see. Right now, and Calypso for their first ever game in the dungeon series has really, the, I mean, still, uh, I mean, is Realm Forge done really beautiful work for their first ever game and this kind of uh, stuff, this kind of uh, games. I'd like to thank all of my viewers once again, online and offline. Streaming or not streaming, I'd like to pray peace be upon you all. Uh, peace be upon all of my fans and followers. Thanks for my, all of my subscribers, um, new and returning. I'd like to um, pray peace be upon all of my family members and all of the beasts of the Eldred family and the YouTube Friends United Discord server. By name, Thunderstar Gaming, BS09 Gaming, Lux Bar, Marcus, Nitro Crash, Mark IC, Rogue Agent Killer Dan, Cryfield, ZPTV123, Matthew Alvin21, Sagada Clone85, Arfrel, Marcel Pan Gaming, and our new West member, Pop Express. Thank you all very much for always encouraging uh, me and for being there out, uh, looking out for each other and helping out one another with our loyalties. Without love, that being said, this has been Invisible with you from Invisible Gaming Channel, striking at your heart from the dark side of the moon. Praying for your best of luck, good uh, health, good well, and stay careful. These are some hard times we are going through right now. Without that being said, I bid you farewell and uh, take care of yourselves. Invisible with you, YouTube's first ever Alfred Slasher, sign out. Peace be upon you all. Good night.